As the fight against Al Qaeda in Yemen flares into what looks dangerously close to all out war, the U.S. braces itself for more possible terror attacks. CNN has learned exclusively the threat against the U.S. Embassy in Sana'a, the country's capital, is far more serious than originally thought. It's why the embassy shut its doors to the public Wednesday, closing down its operations indefinitely. Yemeni national security officials telling us the U.S. government is taking this threat far more seriously than they've taken other credible threats against them. Threats such as what happened in 2012 when protesters breached the heavily secured perimeter and stormed the building. Terrorism experts say there's more reason than ever for the U.S. to worry. The crown jewel of the organization, their master bomb maker who keeps making these very sophisticated bombs that get on planes, uh, there's no evidence he's dead. Saudi-born Ibrahim al Asiri, the man who tried to bring down a U.S. plane with an underwear bomb in 2009. Despite years of hunting him, one of Yemen's most wanted terrorists is believed still at large. And of all al-Qaeda-affiliated networks, al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, or AQAP, based in Yemen, is considered the most dangerous threat to Americans. Yemen's military is now battling these terrorists not just in the capital, they're also continuing ground operations against AQAP in the southern provinces. AQAP is a grave threat to both Yemeni and American security, and the U.S. government welcomes the actions of Yemen's brave forces to counter this group. This embassy closure, just one more sign the threat posed by al-Qaeda, nowhere close to being over.